more if you go cry in the corner and the bully will get more power and they'll do it more and more. And then that'll make you feel even more bad. She was being kind of nice and kind of mean and I didn't know who my real friends were and I was really confused and scared. Talking behind her back and everything like that and um, it made her feel really bad and they also said really mean stuff to her. I think that this interfered with my ability to do well in school because I was so stressed and distracted and I was feeling so alone and I didn't feel like I could trust my teacher. These young girls, only 7 and 10, are talking about their experiences with bullying, dealing with the mean girls who oftentimes are aggressive and cruel at school or in their social circles. It's happening, it seems, at a very young age, younger and younger all the time with girls, as even as early as kindergarten. Today we're learning how parents can help their daughters stand up to the bullying and resolve their friendship struggles. And Dr. Michelle Anthony, author of the book, Little Girls Can Be Mean, Four Steps to Bully-Proof Girls in the early grades is here with some advice. Hi. Good to have you here. Thanks. We Thanks should say here. that these are your daughters that we heard from, right? Exactly. And, and mm -hmm. you wrote this book after dealing with some difficult things for them? Exactly. Um, our interest in this, Dr. Linderitz and I, came from our own personal experiences as mothers to young girls. Uh, you saw my older daughter, Kylie, when she was six had a two-year-long struggle with a friend around friendship issues. And for the first year, we didn't really know what was happening. She wasn't able to sort of share that because she felt so alone, and she sort of thought she was the only one dealing with this. Dr. Lindert, her daughter in fifth grade, was ousted from her friendship circle in the middle of the year. So really, very young girls are dealing with very big issues. Do you think that it's anything new from when we were children and we deal with friendships? And in some ways, as a parent, you say we need to let the kids work it out themselves yep. because they will. But how do you know when you should intervene and do something about it? Exactly. Well, I think when we were younger, meanness has always happened. Meanness will always happen. Uh, I think the difference now for kids is really when you look at the scale and the scope and how permanent the, and public the acts are now. That's really different, and in that way the kids need new skills to deal with them. And I think your, your point is exactly right, which is when do you as a parent watch and when do you step in? And that's sort of why we wrote this book, which is how to give parents the tools for what to do in these situations and at the perfect age for kids, because elementary school kids are ready for guidance from parents. They seek out interaction with their teachers. They really love that kind of input and they really want it. They want that guidance. Okay, so give me some hard tools then. What do I do when my daughter comes home and she says, little Sue was so mean to me and she made me feel bad, what do I do? Well, I think our, our natural reaction is either, either to say, oh, you know, she'll be nice tomorrow or to sort of jump in and try and fix it. And, and call the other mom. And, and no? say, yeah, why is your daughter so mean? <laughs> no, don't do that? Well, that may be appropriate, but what we're going to recommend is a four-step process. Okay. So the first step is to observe, and if your daughter comes to you, then your observations will be different than what was going on with my daughter, which is that we didn't see it for a long time. Um, but there are ways that you can see things your daughter isn't telling you, changes in behaviors, changes in likes or dislikes. There's lots of tools to look at your child as a social being in a new way, and that's the first step. Okay. The second is to connect. We sort of want to jump over connection and go right to guidance, mm -hmm. but a lot of times the kids themselves don't even know what they're feeling, what they wish for, what their worries are. And if we understand that, we're in a much better position to guide. So ask those questions when you're connecting and with your empathize. own child. And to empathize. I mean, that's a yes. really big piece. Even when your daughter's been the mean one, because she may come and tell you that she's done this thing, and you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, my daughter's a mean girl. And really, what she was really trying to do was make a connection with her friend. Sure. And the goal is, when you understand what she wants, then you can guide her to do it more appropriately. Okay, let's get to the other two quickly, since oh, so, we're running out so of time. Guidance, so the Third one. Um, is to guide. So okay. the two of you are coming up together with a list of possible ideas that she can choose from because she's got to be an independent actor out okay. there to go and live her social life. Come back to you with information because you're on her team. The two of you are working together to meet these Want ends them for to her. Know that. And that was mm -hmm. the fourth? That was the fourth. Okay. Support to act. Terrific. Thanks so much. No we problem. appreciate that. And, and as school starts here, the kids are just getting into the fall school exactly. season here. All we those social to, dynamics. Yes, empower them early on. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Well, if you ever wish that you...